so today you know i would like to do a video tour that generally i do for my out of town buyers i'm going to tour the property talk about the neighborhood and show you know what the property look like so now i'm at this duplex side by side duplex i'm going to do a virtual tour and give you an idea what kind of things i would cover so if you are a buyer you you will get an idea what to look for if you are an agent this gives you an idea how to um you know present a property for your client so let's check it out What's up everyone this is Aditya welcome to my channel if you still hit, haven't hit that subscribe button please do so for an awesome content regarding real estate and realtor journey so so right now i'm in sandwich town which is the west part of the windsor which is close to university probably right there uh, probably like 1.2 kilometers from university and you know this neighborhood is coming up uh, quite a long um, the same properties in this neighborhood used to be like you know 100,000 110,000 now they are going over 200,000 um, you know the neighborhood is shifting quite a lot because of the bridge construction that is going renovations on the existing bridge right there and there is also another new bridge coming up like 1.5 kilometers away from here so good signs that location is changing so about this property let's it's a side by side always it's desirable for investors to have less headaches is to have a side by side because that way it has a you know fire separation and they don't hear the noise from one tenant to another tenant that much so that's one two it's a brick half brick and half vinyl uh, i always look for you know what are the windows windows looks like vinyl 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 doors have changed recently uh, nicely again decent painted uh, i try to look up for the roof always in this case this is super tall uh, but i i looked it way far from further down so the roof is actually pretty decent condition and they have a parking in the driveway so there is no other parking or you can park it in the street so street parking is also free and this property probably you know uh 80 90 years old and you can look up two gas meters especially for duplexes i always look for if they have a separate hydro and gas or not so this property has separate hydro and separate gas which is really good and i all, always want to look for if the water pouring into the property or out of the property so this one looks like you know right there and then there is like you know steep there so the water is not really getting into the property that much so here is the two hydrometers and look at this window so probably most likely they haven't installed the window properly that's why you see some water vapors right there i don't know if you can see that so that's something you know just to keep in mind that windows might need to be changed or installed properly and they have a nice little backyard that's good you know if you just fence it off if they have kids they can play here and the furnace looks older uh, sorry ac central air probably like 10 15 at least 15 years old so that means you have to account for that for next coming 5 5 years down the road at least in next 5 years and poor here it looks decent and here you can see it's kind of steeping outward so which means you have to fix this up pretty much sometime soon and the windows 
This window looks a little older and that window looks like vinyl, vinyl, vinyl as well. So we'll look inside how it is inside but from outside it's not too bad. From what I have seen this is way better in this neighborhood. So let's go back into the unit. So basically windows, the foundation, roof, always look for the hydro and gas meters, especially if it's an investment property. And Porsche, you know, nice and decent, not too bad. Stairs, concrete, solid, pretty decent. Let's go into the unit. So that is tenanted currently. This one is vacant. So we only just check out for now this unit. Okay. First of all, as soon as I enter, I see that this unit is recently renovated. So new tile here and new laminate flooring, decent living room new light fixtures that's good old thermostat not bad so you can see the entrance from this way it's a pretty decent size living and it's a center layer i always look for that even you know there are some properties that have still baseboard heating so this one is a center layer We'll look at the furnace in the basement in a second and this is a kitchen so it looks like they have updated the kitchen recently new flooring ceramic tile that's good some nice backsplashes new countertop laminate countertop new light fixture you know kitchen with a nice backyard view that's good decent backsplashes not too bad again if you want to get some premium rents you can change the appliances to a stainless steel especially when the kitchen is nice and updated you can do that or you know if you don't want to put so invest so much money into it you can just take it easy pretty much you can get like nice stainless steel for 1500 2000 if you go on kijiji maybe you can find it for cheaper but good thing is these guys did a nice backsplashes looks good and always look for the plumbing that's what I do just to make sure you know if there is any old plumbing because that can give you a headache for the insurance so this one looks like copper PVC which is decent and insurance don't mind copper and PVC so dual sink that's good and my inspector is here to do a pre-inspection okay let's get into the basement that's where all the hidden secrets will be about the property so always I try to be as thorough as possible especially when in the basement because you want to know what type of plumbing it is you want to know you know what type of uh, electric wiring if there is any old wiring especially this kind of properties this is the older property like 80 70 years at least so you want to know just keep an eye looks like they even have a separate water meters for both the units but as far as i know i see a one water meter now where the city is allowing to put two separate meters if you can that's awesome so here is what i look for always the electrical knob and tube especially the older properties have knob and tube let's see so that's a knob you see there is knob and tube that's an oh looks like it's cut off here so probably okay look here so the knob and tube running into this junction and then they have copper wirings from the junction 
So that means there is active knob and tube. I always look for these things. Just to be aware, so you can, when you have budget, you can change them up. So it's always good to know what's in the property. And plumbing looks like, you know, updated plumbing PVC. That's good. Hot water tank, probably um, 10 years old. Copper, copper, for water, copper. And this is gas, I don't care. And the furnace, probably like 15 years old. Lots of noisy, sorry about the noise. So they cut off the, all the knobs that are visible, but upstairs they there is knob and tube. And the electrical, even you see here, all copper wiring. So that is, that is visible, they changed it, but not something is not visible. So they haven't changed that part. So, and another thing is, just look at that. You see some, you know, water seepage. That's why you see that yellowness. All this yellowness is, there is water seepage. So again, it's an open basement. You don't care much, but when you want to finish it, it's a good idea to put a waterproofing all over and maybe some pump. That way your, your, your basement is safe from water. And here we go. So the bedrooms are upstairs in the house. So So here is a washroom, nicely updated. New flooring, new vanity and some storage, that's good. And bathtub. So it's not the newer one, but just they kept it clean. So nice and decent, not bad. Newer carpet probably like they have done recently. Looks like someone flipping this property. Probably like eight by 12 bedroom. So it's not too big not too small it's okay size again vinyl window so this is one bedroom and bath another bedroom so this is bigger bedroom probably 12 by 12 decent size closet so they have the door to put in there but they haven't installed it but that's good they have it so probably they're gonna hook it up that looks like it's a newer one so they freshly painted it that's good so pretty much this unit is pretty much ready to rent so in this area this unit you can get like probably um thousand dollars to thirteen hundred depends on you know your marketing skills but definitely you can get the higher end side because this is nicely renovated good size main floor nice decent kitchen nice decent washroom decent size bedroom and a average size bedroom and a basement so they can they have a lot of storage or if you want to be a little bit more creative just put up some drywall and put a nice vinyl flooring in the basement so now they have a big living in the basement as well so then you can expect a little bit higher rents and overall it's pretty decent property let me know how do you like the property tour let me know if you like me to do this kind of videos going further in the comments below thank you for watching have a wonderful day